Hello YouTube, this is Tarth, and this is uh, Let's Play X4 Foundations. Part of my new Let's Play series. I've done the, uh, I've chosen the Argon start, which uh, starts us uh, locked in an Argon wharf, or Argon equipment dock I think it is. First thing I'm going to do is change my player name. And pick a new logo. I think I'll do that one there. And now what we want to do is go find a mission to work on. We'll undock from the station. And at direct shift 2 for scanning mode just so that the station is a little bit easier to see where the data leaks are. Now the player HQ mission is the first one that gets generated, it's usually on the first station. We're looking around to see where it sort of looks like uh, there's a short circuit in the station or something, sparks flying in space. Usually pretty obvious once you do spot it. Nothing there so far. Once we get close I should be able to hear it as well. moving around with the WASD keys and the uh, scroll wheel to adjust the speed and uh, Q and E to rotate the ship like that uh, here we go Four. If to talk to them. I should do it. I had to disable my voice filter. I was beginning to think my messages were being intercepted by those split fellows. I'm a little disappointed that it was this easy. I don't suppose they sent you, did they? Oh, that would be quite devious. Hmm. What should I call them? I suppose captors is quite apt. Employers? They let me work on my own projects some days, you see. Ah, yes, you see, I'm in a spot of bother. I'm in the middle of some important scientific research, which I'm unable to pursue personally from my current location. I'm looking for an assistant to aid me. I'll send the task to your ship computer. This is rather exciting. Wonderful. I have managed to place the device on a nearby docking area. You should be getting the coordinates now. Okay, so now we're going to go dock and pick up the item he's left there for us. Shift D to activate the docking. I don't have a docking computer yet, so I'm going to have to manually dock it. Follow where the ship icon is. We just have to line up these lights in front of us until they turn green. That was just the orientation. The red triangle you can see coming up is the ship, so we just have to line that up and get the red light at the top to match the bottom one. And then once that turns green, just lower ourselves down with the S key to the dock. Successfully docked. Perfect. Now we just get up out of the ship. Welcome. Go find the devices there. The yellow circle somewhere showing where to go probably on the other, oh, there it is all the way over the side, other side 
double, uh, double tap W to uh, activate run and hold it down. You can change the key bindings to make it um, permanently active if you want to. At least they've got these uh, conveyor belts so you can speed across the other side quickly. All the way over here by that ship that's taking off. Pro tip, don't hop on ships that are taking off until you've got the transporter device, otherwise you'll end up being uh, a uh, starway on the ship until they land somewhere else. Okay, so bit that. D to teleport back to our ship. Undock. Shift in space allows you to turn off our ship following mouse cursor. I don't expect you've spoken with too many Boron before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bozo Tar, and it is a pleasure. I do wish it were in person. But my current situation is quite precarious. You must be quite curious on what a lonely old Boron is trying to achieve. There are still so many mysteries and unanswered questions. Are spaceflight sentient? Where are the lost Boron systems? Is faster than light telepathy possible? It is our task to push the physics of this universe to the breaking point and see if it answers any of those questions. My current employers only seem happy when my research results in novel weapon modifications. Very curious people, those split. I do hope they move me to a new tank soon. My tentacles grow weak. He's the most talkative boron in the universe. I wonder how my homeworld is faring. It has been such a long time since we have had news of it. to where I detected an anomaly. Could you please try using the long-range scanner to search for an anomaly in this vicinity? Let's tell you some combat while we're here. Hold down space to fire this particular weapon, and just keep it firing. Combat's not really a main focus of the game, but it is fun to do. Closes back in and we'll shoot him again. Head of weapons on the ship has got a three kilometer range. Dealing with some combat first NPC. Come on. That was a particularly pathetic attempt. You are a direct aggression. Alright, 
where's my targeting rig? Oh, I must have hit it wrong key somewhere. Let's just quickly check that. Target management. Alright. Sorry about this. I like having the target reticle so I can see where I'm aiming. Maybe it's auto aim. Aim assist on, yeah. I've got target one. No, that's not what mouse cursor. Oh, I need to fix later on. Fields are going up, but he's not uh, losing health. You will now suffer the consequences of your actions. Yeah, I'm out class there. No point worrying about that. I'd like to fix the targeting reticle at least. Leave those NPCs alone. Right, activate scanning mode. Here it is. Aha! There it is. If reports to be believed, these anomalies are tears, which may lead to other areas of space, much like the jump gates. I suggest you mark the location of the anomaly on your map. So, how adventurous do you feel today? Thanks to my research, I do have a fair idea of where you may end up. Of course, the quickest way to confirm my theory is to put it into practice. Okay, so he wants us to fly through that anomaly. You have to do it at high speed using the boost usually, otherwise it'll bounce you off it. So I've got an NPC right on my tail now. Great thing to throw off his aim. Alright, that's close enough. If you can follow that NPC. Can you hear me? It took a moment to realign the frequency. It is just as I thought. You have made it through the anomaly and emerged in a distant region. Your location is actually of great interest to me. Over the years, I have managed to pull sensor logs from passing ships to help further my work. I highlighted this as a prime location for my research, should I ever get the chance. While the previous anomaly is interesting, my findings point to something else here which I expect will lead to a groundbreaking discovery. Allow me to guide you to a particular area. Too far away. If one day activate travel mode, and we'll fly over there. I am currently 
reevaluating what equipment we will need to make the most of this location. Space here is wounded, with a scar in his fabric which seems to have healed multiple times. There is no record of any abnormal activity at these sites. To everyone else, this is simply an empty area of space. In my search for signals from long lost Boron, I have detected multiple scars in space which continue to spew a multitude of particles and radiation. In a bustling sector such as this, it would only be seen as background noise. However, some of the noise seems to have artificial form. We are going to tear this scar wide open and peer inside. Of course, the universe is a fickle thing. One miscalculation, and we may well destroy the whole system. Ha! Such stakes make this all the more exciting. Before we get started, allow me to reimburse you for your help so far. I do hope the split don't mind me using their credit account to help fund our venture. I'm sure they don't mind at all. <laughs> now, the experiment. You will first need to place a satellite around this area in order for us to better understand its nature and how best to provoke the anomaly. I suggest you also deploy a resource probe so that we can see how the anomaly has affected the local environment. You should be able to acquire these deployable items from stations which offer upgrades. I know of such a station near your location. I will add the information to your map. Excellent. So he's given us a map location for another station. In this case, if we hit the M key to bring up map, he's given us a location for stations the placement in must be precise. Stations in 18 billion. But we've already got the stuff we need on our ship, so we don't need to go there to refuel. Hit enter. Go to deploy civilian. And he wants us to deploy a satellite. Click it once and it throws it up in front of your ship. Ah, good work. I'm receiving a much clearer signal from the tear. Almost immediately, I can see that there are far more gravimetric shears here compared to any other anomaly ever documented. That indicates mass. But of what? This shows some similarities with a jump gate event horizon. But there is something else. Could it be a temporal distortion? Perhaps dimensional? Very interesting. Would you please deploy a resource probe in this specified area? I'm curious of this environment. Okay, so we can put a resource probe up there. Go. Okay. Into that area. Doesn't have to be exactly precise, just in general vicinity of the yellow, uh, the yellow map marker. Resource probe. You will now be able to see the yields of the resources in the area, should you wish to extract them. As for our research, it seems that nearby objects are covered in exotic particles, possibly spewed from the anomaly. I hate to be a bother, but I have an idea on how to proceed. We will need a ship to be flown to a very precise location near the anomaly. If we fit the ship with the right equipment, we may be able to open the tear wider and have a better idea of what is on the other side. Okay, that's this where he wants to, to go. This will end up in the ship's destruction, so I will help cover the expenses of acquiring a new ship for the task. Excellent. Okay, so he's given us 200,000 credits. We now need to find ourselves a ship loaded with three antimatter cells and blow it up. The nearest place to get a ship will be the Tiladi Wharf that he's given us the map location for. Right click it and go start guidance to object. Which will allow the autopilot to figure out which gates we need to go through. So I will do all that off camera um, getting to the station. Um, because nobody wants to see me flying through space for five minutes. Um, I will be back with the next episode. Um, this is Tarth and this is X4 Foundations. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.